everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to do my first ever book review yes guys it's gonna be my first book review here on my channel it's because I don't know if I'm capable of doing this kind of content here on my channel because uh, we all do know there's a lot of booktubers out there na mas uh, may sense yung sinasabi kaysa sa sinasabi ko. I just want to try it out and share you, with you guys my thoughts, my opinions, my emotion with a certain book. So, by the way guys, since this is my first uh, book review, I want to give you a heads up. First part po natin is non-spoilery and then second part is spoilery. Just a quick disclaimer guys, we have different tastes when it comes to books. If you like this certain book and if I didn't like it, I'm really really sorry. Hindi ko gusto kayong ma-offend or anything. Um, it's just we have different uh, point of view, we have different emotions, we have different um, opinions with certain books. So that's it. Disclaimer and just giving you a heads up. Today's video we're going to talk about Grim Lovelies by Megan Shepherd. So this is a new release novel. Actually, ni release siya last Halloween, and na basa ko siya around November five or November six. Basta ganon. First week of November ko siya na basa, and um actually this is my second time filming this. Ah, uh, because yung una kong video hindi siya okay. Yung mga clips ko out of focus, and then yung mga na, na then yung mga most part na naka-focus is walang sense yung sinasabi ko. So, dinilip ko siya and I thought I need to refilm this video and I want to do a book review para naman magkaroon ng sense tong channel ko. Kasi puro na lang tayo book haul, TBR, uh, wrap up, wala man lang book review. So, I want to make more sense. Parang mas may sense tong booktube na to if I'm going to do book reviews. Uh, so, we're going to talk about this Grim Lovelies. This is a fantasy novel and it's about witch and uh, adventure. So, Grim Lovelace is about our main character, Anuk. That's how I pronounce her name, A-N-O-U-K. If you pronounce it differently, comment it down below kung tama ba yung pagkakapronounce ko. But I pronounce it Anuk. She's only 16 years old. She's not a normal human being. She's actually uh, an animal turned into human. And ang tawag sa kanila is Beasties. Um, and she's working for this uh, witch named Mada Victoria. He is the one who turned her into human and made Shadon. She never tried to go out of her house. She always do work, household chores. Yun lang talaga yung ginagawa niya. She never ever tried to go out of the house. And then one time, Mada Victoria was killed or murdered. And Anuk was being blamed of Mada Victoria's death. So they only have three days to find the killer and to find a solution uh, to keep them being a human. Because within three days, they will turn back into what they are, which is an animal. So that's it. That's the whole synopsis or the whole summary of this book. So if you're into this kind of uh, fantasy novel, if you're into magic spells, if you're into um, witch, you're going to enjoy this. Uh, you're gonna enjoy this novel so so much and I didn't expect that I'm gonna really like it Honestly, so so let's talk about the writing style. Megan Shepard did a great job. Honestly, though um, It's a slow paced This book is really slow paced and honestly expected ko yun kasi um, Third person siya and most of the time talagang slow face siya for me uh, kasi third person nga yung pagkakasulat ni Megan Shepard dito. So, ganun ako. Even dun sa Strange the Dreamer written by Lainey Taylor, ganun din ako. Slow face siya kasi uh, third person yung um, pagkakasulat dun ni Lainey Taylor. So, that's it. Megan Shepard built this dark Paris. Kasi yung setting nito guys is sa Paris. And uh, Paris for me is one of my one of my favorite country, one of my favorite place to visit. And when Megan Shepard, when I read this book, Megan Shepard brought this kind of um, fantasy and magical and um, dark fairy tale world in Paris. Yun yun na imagine ko na if I'm gonna visit Paris someday, maaalala ko ang Green Lovelies. Let's go back to Slow Faced. Kasi nga, slow face siya for me. But that's a good thing. Honestly, for me, that's a good thing. Ang gulo pala ng buho ko. But anyway, um, the slow face moment for me is really a good thing. Kasi um, everything in this book is detailed. Every um, every chapter is detailed. Kaya siya slow face. 
um, ipapaliwanag talaga sa iyo ni Megan Shepherd yung nangyayari. Small detail, talaga ipapakita. And again, this is based on my opinion, based on my experience with this book. So yun. Um, and honestly, I don't know what to say anymore. Mamaya magsuspoil pa kasi ako. And I can't help it anymore. So, basta na-enjoy ko yung slow face kasi nga detailed siya. And the more na maging detailed yung chapter, the more na magiging interesting siya for me. So, yun. Um, then, let's talk about the characters. I really, really love Anak. She's the protagonist. She's only 16 years old. At the very beginning, she's weak. She's um, a damsel in distress. But as the story goes on, makikita niyo yung development ng personality niya, ng, ng way of thinking niya. She will never give up. She will never give up to find a solution kasi she loves being a human. So she will find a solution. She will find the killer. So the other characters. Cricket, I really love Cricket kasi fearless siya. She's a badass and I really like her. I can't, I can't talk about Bee right now because baka makapag-spoil ako but we'll talk about that later. So that's it. And then the other characters, Madavitor, Madazola, we have Hunter Black, we have Vigo or Vigo, I don't know how you pronounce his name. We have Prince Renard, oh my gosh. Anyway, um, um, I really like the characters, how Megan Shepard built this amazing characters and I just enjoy everyone. And I attached sa lahat ng characters, specifically to Anak. My emotions are invested in this book. And honestly, hindi ko hindi ako nakapagbasa ng at least three days, three or four days after reading this one, kasi um hindi pa ako baka move on sa book na to. So that's it. My overall review, I'm giving this 4.5 out of 5 stars. I can't give it five stars because uh, like what I said. Um, slow face siya, but I really like it. Though, sana hindi ganun ang nangyari. Mas, ma mas mag-e-enjoy sana ako. Na-enjoy ko siya, guys. I really enjoyed it. Pero mas mag-e-enjoy sana ako kung hindi siya slow face. But, like what I said, good thing kasi uh, detailed siya. Uh, but, that's it. That's just it. I'm not gonna complain anything. Let's go ahead with the spoilery part of this video. So if you haven't picked this one up, Grim Lovelies by Megan Shepard, make sure to pick this one up. Make sure to read it and I highly recommend it. You're going to enjoy it if you're into ad adventure, fantasy, magic spells, uh, Grim Reapers, and witch. You're gonna enjoy this as much as I did. So that's it. I'm gonna give you five seconds to leave. Five, four, three, two, so let's proceed with the spoilery part. Ang gulo talaga na libo o pagpasensya niya na yow kasi magsuklay. I annotated because I really liked it. Though talaga slow pace for me. First three chapters boring na boring ako. Like kaya hindi ko siya mabigyan ng five out of five stars because first three to five chapters medyo boring siya for me. But after that naging interesting na siya. Anyway. Um, let's proceed with the spoiler report. Buti na lang nag-annotate ako kasi mas spoil ko kayo. Again, if you're if you haven't picked this one up, um pwede na kayong umalis. Um you can click out and find other videos. And if you read this book, let's spoil each other. So can you can we just appreciate Vigo? The very beginning I hate him because Honestly, sobrang a-hole niya. A-hole. Like, major a-hole. For me. I don't know if, nung una alam ko na na hindi ko siya magugustuhan, but when, when the love spell happened, when the magic, when the magic spell affected him, he became this funny, this, this weird guy. And I love him so much after that. Hanggang ending ng libro, magugustuhan niyo siya. And, oh my gosh, I really love Vigo so much. Let's talk about Vue. Vue, for me, he's kind of boring. Mm -hmm. He's boring in this book. For me lang naman. Though he's the love interest of Anok. Pero for me, she's... Uh, he's really boring in a way na parang nothing about him is interesting but 
though napakilig naman niya ako in uh, some ways, but yung personality mismo ni Bu, hindi siya interesting, hindi siya intriguing. The biggest spoil I will say about this book is Prince Renar. Prince Renar. Prince Renar is is a prince, of course. Um, he's interested with Anok. Hindi lang siya hindi lang siya interested kasi kasi may kaya si Anok or something. Kahit si Bu na pansin na uh, Prince Renar likes Anok in a different way. Ang, ang nakikita ko kay Prince Renar is si Ryzen from A Court of Thorns and Roses series. Hindi siya masyadong napakita dito. Hindi siya masyadong na-emphasize dito sa book na to. Pero alam mo na sa next book, yes, yes, nagsaspoiler rin naman tayo. Alam ko may next book tong librong to. I don't know kung series to, trilogy, or saga, or kung ano man, but I'm pretty sure magkakaroon to ng second book. And feeling ko si Prince Renar ma-emphasize na yung personality niya, yung ma-emphasize na yung uh, way of thinking niya, ma-emphasize na yung gusto niya sa namangyari sa kanila ni Anok. Prince Renar offered Anok offered Anok marriage and <laughs> mas interesting pa talaga si uh, uh, Prince Renar kesa kay Bu. Basta si Prince Renar sobrang interesting niya and intriguing. Yung hinahanap ko kay Bu, nakita ko kay Prince Renar. Uh, for example, ito yung sinabi ni Bu. Hinanap ko talaga siya. Buti na lang nag-annotate talaga ako. That's the good thing about annotating, guys, if you're, you'll be doing book review. Anyway, ito yung sinabi ni Bu nung napansin niya about Prince Renar and Anok. Sabi ni Bu is, you mesmerize him, the prince. I can see it in his eyes. Then, um, ang ni-reply ni Anok is, he wanted to use us. And then, yung reply naman ni Bu, it's more than that. He's fascinated by you. He was enchanted by your hopefulness. He has everything under the sun, power, and time, and reaches most people only dream of. But he doesn't have what you have. Not anymore. And he has what you want to. Knowledge, answers, the confidence that comes from experience. I could feel the pull between the two of you. You're fascinated by him too. Napansin niyo ni Bu, and napansin ko din yun. Basta nag-expect ako from Megan Shepherd. kung ano man ang gagawin niya sa next book, I'm expecting more and more about Prince Renard and Anok and Bu, more of this book. You don't want me to do spoilery videos uh, and yung gusto nilang is book review, let me know on the comment section below. But I really enjoy spoiling. Alam ko yung feeling na nasa spoil <laughs> ng biglaan. But um, every time I'm going to do a spoilery part, don't worry, I will give you a heads up before. So, that's it. So, that's it. We're done talking about Green Lovelies, which is my first book review. I really enjoyed this book. Pick this one up. And if you enjoyed it, comment it down below. If you didn't, tell me why. Because <laughs> I really enjoyed this book. So that's it for today. If you like this video, kindly give it a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my social media accounts that will be linked or written down in the description box below. Again, thank you guys for watching. I love you and see you on my next video. Stay beautiful and happy reading. Bye-bye.